Milwaukee Tool has a new 6.5 inch M18 circular saw out on the market with 6,000 RPM no load speed brushless motor. Milwaukee claims that this is 20% more powerful and 40% faster than the competition. We're going to start out by cutting and put this up against two half inch pieces of OSB stacked and we're going to start out with the 5 amp hour battery. compare that to the 8 amp hour battery. Significant difference. Milwaukee also claims that this tool can take any of the M18 batteries and I think the big difference that you're going to see is going to be the torque that this is going to be able to keep going at 6,000 RPMs. The 8 amp hour battery does awesome. The Forge battery does the same as the 8, the 8 is about the same as the 12. I'm sure they are equally more impressive as you go up but you can't feel or see it once you get above the 8. It simply just blasts through the wood and when you drop down to a 5 it is noticeable when you are doing more complex or deeper cuts. It does well with the 5 under normal cuts. You could get by with it. It's still very impressive with the 5. Just a little bit different. Now one thing I want to talk about is the amount of sawdust that this thing is collecting and shooting out. There is sawdust everywhere and you can see it's coming out of this port. Now my saw didn't come with it but these saws will come with a universal dust port that comes over here. You can see the screw hole. My shipment was really messed up in shipping. Box was open so I'm assuming that that piece came out. But if you buy this you will be able to hook up a dust port to this too vacuum away most of that dust and I assume with the amount of dust that's coming out there and going everywhere this will actually work very well. Let's keep cutting. We're going to do two cuts cross cutting this 2x6 with the 5 amp hour battery, two cuts with the 8 amp hour battery and just see if we can hear and see the difference in speed. I could push that a lot faster. It's not how you're going to cut on the job site, but man, it goes. That is stupid fast. I, I think you could probably go faster. I don't know how and if anyone would want to. Let's just give it a go, but man, this thing is quick. That's insane. You're getting tear out at that quick. You, you're, you'd expect to. 6,000 RPMs, this thing just goes. That's realistic. Most people are going to cut a little bit slower and man, I'll tell you, this thing just rocks through this. If we just take a good, nice, easy cut through this, even take the 5 amp hour battery, which I think is doing great on this, a nice easy cut, let's just listen to the RPMs. 6,000 is cruising for this. I don't see it dipping much. That's sweet. This guy will bevel over to 50 degrees, but let's just take it to 45. That's going to be about where the max cut is going to be on this for depth. Let's just give it and see where it goes. 5 amp hour battery. Slowed her down that time. Will the 8 amp hour make a difference? Yes, 100%. That's pretty awesome for this small and 
easy of a saw to handle. I mean, it is just, it's the right size. It's not too heavy. Eight amp hour battery adds a little weight to it. Still very balanced. Great little saw, I love this. Again, we see that the five amp hour battery provides us less speed and less torque than any of the larger batteries. When we took take a look at this tool, we have a nice metal guard at the bottom. It does move around a little bit, but easy to handle. It is metal and I think that's great. Easy to get out of the way to remove the blade. The tool to remove the blade is up here in this handle and it is tight. It is one of those that is not going to fall out but it is easily gotten to when needed. It goes in a lot easier than it comes out, but at the same point, there's some rubber in there that holds it. You got a rafter hook, you got a belt hook, you have an ambidextrous safety, arbor lock, and then we can bevel to 50 degrees. There are detents, you can feel it at 40, five and 22 and a half, lock that guy into place. If you have a fence that you wanna screw into this, it'll take it on either side. Very nice way of dropping this down. And there are detents here also at each place where it is listed out on the back. So you can feel when you hit each one of those lines. Very smooth, very easy to use saw, very lightweight and also very balanced. Even if you have an eight amp hour battery on here or you drop down to a five, it feels very comfortable, very small. This is something that would just want me to ditch that seven and a quarter and go completely with this LED light up front that comes on when you pull the trigger, it goes off after about 20 seconds. Easy to see all your sight lines up front. To me, this is the correct side to have your blade on the left as I'm right-handed and I can see exactly what's happening with that blade. Dust blower up front works great. This tool just begs to be put into more testing. So we're gonna go in and use this beveling the two pieces of OSB just to see what it'll do. Not bad at all. That would be similar to going through three pieces of OSB. Let's go through one more time. We got the room. Nice. Max depth to cut at 90 degrees. Two and a quarter inches. Max depth to cut at 45 degrees is going to be one and nine sixteenths. This is going to be great for framing, for doing any of the major chores on the job site. And you don't need a seven and a quarter until you get up into maybe some of the larger stuff that you're doing, LVL stacked, anything like that. This is fast. I mean, fast. 6,000 RPMs. This guy is kicking and it has the torque to keep up with that. And it's lightweight. I really enjoy six and a half inch saws, mostly because the blade is on the correct side, but this dude is so fast, so smooth, and so lightweight that it just begs for me to use this on a daily basis. This is something that I think most people are gonna grab onto and absolutely love. The fact that you could hood it, put a vacuum to it, I think that is a huge benefit for many people who are in woodworking. Great saw. As you would expect from any Milwaukee saw, when I pick this up, it has perfect Milwaukee feel. You know what you're picking up. The bottom is set perfect. It gets nice, flush, and it is set at 90 directly out of the box. I love the quality and I love the accuracy that they put into this saw. Love to hear your comments on this below. Put them on the bottom. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.